Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates. Today our lecture is about the steel properties. We are going to describe some of the important steel properties as I uh, previously described the uh, discuss the uh, concrete properties. You can watch the video. I will give the link in the description uh, so you can click and watch the concrete properties. So today we are going to uh, discuss these steel properties. The first steel property is the is the density of the steel is the density of the steel the steel density uh, the steel have density of 490 pound per cubic foot in the unit of FPS while it is the, uh, uh, the in the unit of kilogram per cubic meter it is 7850 kilogram per cubic meter in the density of concrete the second property of the uh, sorry, this, uh, the density of the steel. The second property of the steel bar is the is the Poisson ratio. Is the Poisson ratio? Poisson's ratio. Poisson ratio is the ratio uh, of the longitudinal strain uh, of the longitudinal strain to the lateral strain. I uh, upload the videos. I uh, upload the video about the Poisson ratio. You can watch. The video is I've given the link in the description. The Poisson ratio is the ratio of longitudinal strength to the lateral strength, and you can uh, and we know that the Poisson ratio of this uh, of the of the steel bar is the uh, is the range 0 0.27 to 0 0.30. This is the range of the Poisson ratio of a steel bar. And the third one is the uh, the strength of the tensile strength. Sorry, tensile. Inside strength of the steel bar. There are three categories of the uh, size of the grade. This is the grade 40. Here I will write the uh, grade. A grade 40, grade 60, and grade 75. And we have different uh, yield limit. This is the yield limit and the ultimate limit. The yield limit of grade 40 is. 40 k is high, the 60 is 60 k is high, and the 75 is 75 k is high. These are the yield uh, strength, yield strength of the uh, three different grades. While the ultimate strength is different, the ultimate strength of 70 k is high, the ultimate strength of 90 k is high, and the ultimate strength of 100 k is high almost. So this is the uh, tensile strength. There are three different grades most commonly used. But the two, these two are mostly used in civil engineering practice. This is very rarely used in the civil engineering practice. Uh, so number fourth property is about the, so this was, this was, these were the three properties. I'm going to furthermore. Elasticity of steel bar. How much the elasticity of steel bar? The number fourth property. Elasticity. It will be represented by E S. It will be E S, and the uh, formula is uh, the ratio of the stress over strain. Strain, right? And elasticity of the steel bar is a uh, two hundred gigapascal, or what? Or twenty nine thousand ksi. 9000 KSI in terms of the uh, kip per square inch in terms of the gigapascal. So this, uh, this is the uh, uh, elasticity of the steel bar. Number fifth property is the number fifth in the last property of the steel bar is the shear strength of the steel bar. So is the ultimate shear strength of the steel bar. The ultimate shear strength shear strength of steel bar. As I've discussed that there are two, uh, three different grades of the steel but the two mostly commonly used is the uh, grade, uh, grade 60, uh, grade 40 and the grade 60. Right? The, the yield strength. So the ultimate shear strength is related to the yield strength. How it is related that the yield, ultimate shear strength of the steel bar is equal to the uh, is equal to the 82% of the 
82% of his yield strength, right? The shear strength, the shear, ultimate shear strength of the steel bar is equal to the 82% of yield strength. So how we can find the grade 40 ultimate shear strength and grade 60 ultimate shear strength? We can find out by the, by the, by this method that the its ultimate shear strength will be equal to the of grade 40 it will be equal to 0.82 and to grade 40 and it will be equal to 0.82 of grade 60 because we know that the ultimate shear strength of the steel bar uh, is equal to the 82 percent of their uh, of their uh, ultimate of their tens of their tensile yield strength so uh, 82 percent means 0.82 into 40 0.82 into 60 we can get their ultimate shear strength of the steel bar so it comes out to be uh, almost 30, 33 ksi it almost comes out to be 49 uh, ksi this was the ultimate shear strength of the steel bar it's related to the uh, uh, somehow to the uh, yield strength but uh, it's uh, shear strength is always less than the ultimate shear strength is always less than the yield strength of the steel bar but we can find by this method that uh, by taking the it's 82 percent of the yield strength so we can find out the ultimate shear strength of each steel bar so this was all about the steel properties and uh, please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates so you can watch daily civil engineering videos thank you